What's going on guys? Dig here, ready to teach you how to do the Mob of the Dead Easter Egg. Disclaimer, you need two players to complete this Easter Egg. You can do it solo on Plutonium if you have a certain mod though. If you have never played Mob of the Dead before, there is no power switch on this map. The power comes from you while you're in ghost mode. These little tiny juncture box right by the perks, that's where you need a shock to turn on the power for each individual item. One tip to keep in mind though, when you go fly the plane once to go to Pack-a-Punch, when you come back, everything will be powered on. One last tip before we get started, there is a way to open one door at the start of the game when you are spawning in i'll show you how you have to get very lucky and spawn on top of this door you can if you spawn in front of it pull back on your analog stick or on your keyboard and purchase a door while you're in ghost mode you have to be quick about it because as soon as you stand up in ghost mode you won't be able to purchase the door now if you have played mob of dead before and you know where all the shield parts are the acid upgrade parts are and how to get a free blunder get just skip to the two minute and 52 second marker and then that's when i first start the easter egg quest because this next part of the guide is going to be about building the shield the acid gat upgrade and how to get a free blunder gat starting with the acid gat upgrade the first part that you want to look for is a briefcase the briefcase can spawn on this metal table right here in the back of spawn the second briefcase location is right outside the cafeteria to the left and the last and third locations up these stairs dropping down right here underneath these stairs the second part locations are right beside these skulls to the left of the box and then to the left of the speed cola now for the third and final part that you need it's going to be upstairs on the roof i'll show you the three locations right now the first location is going to be on the floor right here to the left of the bathtubs and moving forward into the next room it's going to be on top of this metal table right here turn around go through this door and then on your left they'll be on top of this metal table right here now where you want to build the asset upgrade is going to be right behind electric cherry on this bench right here now moving on to build the shield you want to head down to the docks to the spiral staircase and it's going to be right here leaning against this wall now going further down through these double doors right here to your left it'll be behind this wall and then turning it around going through this door to your right leaning against the wall right here now for the second part of the shield the first location is going to be here to the left on the shelf the second location is going to be the left of that shelf on this table right here and the third and final spot is going to be behind you on the floor right beside this power generator now for the third and final part for the shield one spot is going to be against this wooden box right here and then to your left against this wooden box and then further down against this wooden box right here the best place to build the shield is inside the cafeteria to the right right here this is how you get the free blunder gat there's going to be five skulls scattered around the map that you can't see you just need to collect them with your tomahawk and then the free blunder gat will spawn on top of this table at speed cola starting down at the docks the first skull location is going to be on top of this wooden post right here the second location is going to be up the stairs down at the docks on this lamp post you just jump and throw your tomahawk the third location is going to be up in this corner this is technically the roof skull but we can get it in front of the cafeteria the fourth location is going to be inside this toilet in the back of spawn and the fifth and final location is going to be the right of Spicola outside this barrier on top of this power pole. Now starting off with the first step, there's going to be a warden key that you need to collect. There's only two locations and I'll show you on screen right now. One in front of the cafeteria and one is in front of the warden's office. The way that you collect the key is you shock this junction box and the key will be lowered down. Now before you activate your ghost mode, just watch my gameplay real quick and I'm about to show you how to complete three different things at once. The three things that we're going to complete in this one ghost mode is going to be the key, unlocking the warden's office, and unlocking the showers. First thing you want to do is turn around, jump through this hole, shock the junction box here for the key, take a right, go down this hallway, take a left, down the stairs, shock this junction box, that will unlock the warden's office. Turn around, go out the same way that you came in, you're going to run across the catwalks around here, you're going to drop down, and you're going to go through this little hole, you're going to turn around, look up, and you're going to shock this junction box right here, that will unlock the showers. Now once accomplishing all three of these tasks, go ahead and go back to your body and revive yourself. Now the second major step of this easter egg is collecting the tomahawk. The way that you collect the tomahawk, there is three different dog heads similar to Dryzen Drag where you have to feed five zombies to it to finish each dog off to get the tomahawk. The three dog locations are as follows. One on the backside of spawn through the CD block right here. The second dog location is all the way up to the roof and the third and final location for the dog is outside this door by the docks. Once you're done feeding all three dogs, you can go pick up the tomahawk. The tomahawk is located downstairs inside this hole in the wall. It's going to be right beside the stairs leading down to the docks. You need to make sure that you collect the tomahawk before you fly the plane once because you have to fly the plane three times in this easter egg. And if you grab the tomahawk on the first flight, then that first flight will count as one of the flights that you took out of the three. Now the third major part of this easter egg is building a plane. There are five separate parts around the map that you need to collect. I will show you how to collect them all right now on screen and where they are located. The first part that we're going to 
collect is the closest one to the spawn room, that part being the laundry sheets. Since we already got the warden key and we already opened up the shower door from the beginning of the video, you're all set to start the lockdown. So head down to the showers, open this gate right here with the warden's key, head back up, go into afterlife, run back down, shock this junction box right here, revive yourself, head back down to the laundry machine, start it up, and then you'll be in a short lockdown phase. Now before you start this up, be careful because a Brutus will spawn in. Once the lockdown is complete, pick up your laundry sheets and bring them up to the roof to build your plane. To get access to the roof, you must go in afterlife, go through the hole in this wall right here, jump up top, shock this junction box, and then you're all set to get to the roof. Moving on to the second part for the plane. Now this part is the easiest part to get for the plane. It's just all the way upstairs right before you access the roof. It's in this cabinet. Just use the warden key, unlock it, and pick up the part. Now we're going to go get the third part for the plane. What you're going to want to do is go all the way down the spiral staircase, and there will be a code box ready to be unlocked with the warden key. Go ahead and unlock it with the warden's key. Go all the way back up the spiral staircase. Go into afterlife, and as you're running down, you'll see three separate numbers appear on the wall. Put those three numbers in order from left to right inside the code box, as soon as you do that, run back up top, revive yourself, then immediately head back down because you are timed right now. You need to get to the very bottom through this door and then take a left and go down this corridor. There will be the part waiting for you. As soon as you pick up the part, I would turn around and immediately run because you're going to get trapped down there if you don't. Now we can get the fourth part for the plane. The fourth part of the plane is located down at the docks. What you're going to need to do is have two players inside this cage at the same time. Have one person go into afterlife. They're going to shock this junction box. The gate to the right is going to open up. He's going to pick up the part and then you're going to shock it again so the other gate to the left will opens up. Now for the fifth and final part for the plane. While you're still down in the docks, you're going to go into afterlife and shock these three junction boxes that are lit up. The first one's going to be through this hole to the left. The second one will be right outside the hole to the right. And then the third one will be to the left behind that one. By doing so, once you go into the warden's office, this cage that was electrified earlier will be not electrified anymore. And you can use the warden key to open it and grab the last final part for the plane. As soon as you put the final part on the plane, have you and all your teammates hop on the plane and fly over to pack a bunch. Once landed, wait there till the electric chairs spawn in, hop onto them, then you'll be sent back to the map. Once back, end the round. Once the round ends, in the top left corner, all gas canisters will spawn around the map. Those gas canisters are located where we picked up the plane parts in the very beginning. And all you gotta do is run up to them and pick them up they'll be right on the ground for you as soon as you pick them up take them up to the plane refill the plane and once all five gas canisters are put into the plane have everybody hop on the plane back to pack a bunch now before you head to pack a bunch you're gonna want to grab the spoon the spoon is easily obtained after you come back from the pack a bunch for the first time there will be a poster located in front of the warden's office in this jail cell right here either throw the tomahawk or a grenade at it to break the poster after breaking the poster turn to your left go into afterlife and this hole will appear in this wall now on the ground will be a spoon while you're in afterlife shock the spoon now you want to head into the cafeteria and outside this barrier there will be a spoon on top of this table throw your tomahawk at the spoon and then you'll pick up the spoon now once you have accomplished that and you have flown on the plane three separate times head down to the spiral staircase and now the code box should be flashing a bunch of numbers you're going to want to get into afterlife and put in these four codes right here you can do this step in multiple afterlives it does not matter now once all four codes are put in you're going to get some dialogue and everything's going to turn black and white you're going to collect these little headphones on the way up towards the roof to get the full story of the prison and the characters within. I'm going to quickly show all the locations where the headphones will spawn in. Once you're done collecting the last headphones and the audio is done, end the round and have everybody go into afterlife. Once in afterlife, head up to the plane and hop on with everybody on the plane. Keep in mind, do not pick up any gas canisters that spawn in because it will bug out the step. Once landed, revive yourself out of the electric chair, wait a couple of seconds, and now you and your teammate will fight each other. If Weasel wins the fight, then the cycle is broken. If Weasel dies, then the cycle continues. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Please don't forget to drop a like and a follow, and I'll catch you guys in the next Easter egg for Origins. Peace!